Uh, this is the most amazing light color, which probably hasn't come through at all, but it's just so beautiful. Sometimes video or almost always video never really comes through, but god darn, the, the light, the lighting right now. Just amazing. And the bees pretty much done flying for today. We had our first cold snap in uh, central Texas, like it, uh, I guess a couple of days ago. And the bees they haven't flown here, I guess, in a couple of days, but uh, we're gonna get a lot more cooler weather where it's just borderline for them to fly. Like for the next week or so, it's gonna be in the 50s as a high, which is about their limit for flying. And uh, so it looks like winter has finally set in. I have a bunch of hives that are way tiny. And um, they're probably too small to make it through the winter. So I have to end up combining them. Or more likely, I'm just going to uh, make them into what I like to do, two queen hives. That's kind of a fun thing to do, a two queen hive. And all you need to make those work is a simple entrance reducer. You don't need to do the double entrance reducer thing. A single one works. I've never had a queen die with one of those. And I know that works because a friend accidentally made one, a two queen hive with an entrance reducer and he had two queens and I'm like, well, let's try that. I was in the process of actually making a, a double screened queen uh, reducer, excluder, queen excluder. When um, he told me that, I was like, ever since then, I just use a simple um, queen excluder between highs and uh, yeah, I never had them kill a high or kill a queen except for that one time when I had a virgin queen in there and they did not like her at all. But anyway just had a video just just because of the color I need to get a proper lid on here that matches I already have it but I need to just put it on there <laughs> 